If you look closely, you'll see that going into the mosque, this is typical in Nusantara, that you got to wade through a pool of water. Well, what's that bid'ah all about? <laughs> Haram, right? Did the Prophet do that? Okay, why do they do it? Well, because they are a rice civilization. They work in rice paddies. And rice paddies can be dry much of the year. But in the beginning, the rice paddy is muddy, very muddy, and you've got to go barefoot. And then you've got this peasant coming to the mosque with mud all over his feet. So you're going to beat him and say, wash your feet, wash your feet. No. So he's got to go make wudu, usually. He probably doesn't have it. So he's got to walk through a pool of water like that to go make wudu. And of course, when he makes wudu, is he going to wash his feet? Okay. And then he's got to walk through it coming out. And then he's got to walk through it coming into the mall. So basically, he's not going to track. Okay? And you're going to have to take off your shoes too, because unless you can jump really well, you're going to have to walk in the water. Okay? Now, there's a big problem with that. And that is that the water gets filled with all kinds of organic things. And you get yucky larvae and mosquitoes. So, what are you going to do culturally? Put fish in there. You see, beautiful fish. They can be those, what they call them, koi or whatever. Beautiful fish. And you know what? If you're hungry, you're going to have to eat that fish. <laughs> see, so this is also cultural imperative. Is there anything wrong with it? No, this is right. This needs to be respected. Okay, let's keep going.